Hello, so this is a demo of uh, the split flap system as fitted to the Avro Lancaster bomber. Um, I must make some apologies that I'm not making this uh, audio in real time. As you can see, the, the flaps at the bottom are extended. Um, that's raising them up there. I'm um, just moving the camera around a little bit so you can see that's the, the standard wing conf configuration. And then when they put mistake take off, the flaps extend all the way down from the bottom surface of the wing. The top surface of the wing is unchanged and what this allows the split, split flap to do is it maintains the laminar flow over the top surface so you don't get as much turbulence over the top surface so that maintains the lift but still increasing the bottom surface camber uh, which gives you your increased lift for, at lower speed. Now uh, on the screen I'm looking at it's very very difficult for me to see because it's like a, I'm using Upload Studio so it's difficult for me to see the, the, um, the speed settings and things but I can just make them out. Uh, so you can see with the, the landing gear up and the, the flaps down yeah, it's it's kicking on about 100 knots there, right? Get a bit of height. Uh, I have to kind of remember what I did when I was flying the airplane so that I can then voice over it at a later date, which is becoming a bit of a pain in the bum. But uh, yeah, so here we go. So we're flying along. I've got the flaps all the way down, so this is going to produce maximum drag, but also maximum lift. And as you can see, flat out, uh, I've taken the throttle down to nothing, right? and your speed's dropping down there at about 87 knots um, with the flaps at combat which is halfway up similar to take off um, we'll see that on the next part I'm trying to get a basically a level altitude and I think you're looking at around about 120 knot flying speed with the flaps at combat Yeah, so you'll see that the aircraft maintains um, uh, there you go, your flying speed is too low, increase the throttle. So, with the throttle about, so, you know, the throttle not wide open, um, maintain about 120 knots, you can maintain 120 knots with the flaps of combat. Yeah. Um, there's the flaps going. Now, when I raise the flaps now, yeah, you see the flaps are all the way up now, you should see that with the same throttle setting, we're still around about 170 knots there. Yeah, like you should see the altitude start to drop. So there's our flying speed 118, and our altitude there you can see is starting to fall. Yeah, so with no flaps uh, initiated, no flaps down at all, we can't fly at 120 knots, we can't fly below 120 knots without losing altitude. So that means the wing is stalled slightly. Yeah, if I put the flaps back to combat as you see the flaps are pretty similar to take off right now we can maintain that altitude yeah same speed and as you can see the altitude it's dropping off slightly there but it's going to stop dropping very soon okay so if we maintain 120 knots with the flaps down you can see that you've got the same speed and altitude there, the altitude's going up slightly there so 100 and yeah 120 knots and you can see that she was going up slightly right now I'm going to show you I'm going to turn the airplane around and show you what happens with the flaps on landing um, I've lost track of which clips I'm voice overing here so this might be a crash I don't know Okay, you can see while we're while we're going on about this, we can see the uh, the stability features on the Lancaster. It's got twin um, stabilizers, twin vertical stabilizers, and it's got a bit of dihedral on the wings. And the tail plane, the, the horizontal stabilizer, is quite a way back from the from the wing, which makes it a very stable aircraft. Okay, right now what we're doing is we're coming to land. Uh, I've dropped the gear down, the landing gear. That's going to drop the speed off because of the excess, well, the extra form drag caused by the wheels. Uh, and I'm raising the flaps and we're going to see that in this landing that with the flaps raised, with keeping the flaps up uh, instead of dropping them you've basically you're going to have to land it around about 100 knots okay so you, see, you can see there with the flaps up as soon as I put landing gear down as soon as I haven't got enough speed 
that wing isn't producing enough lift so I'm having to increase the engine power to stop hitting the ground. With the flaps down I wouldn't have to increase, increase the engine power. Ok, now coming to land, we'll take the speed down. Yeah, there's a speed coming down there, right, the altitude's coming down. And my speed's just about 110 knots, 109, 107, 106. So yeah, it's, but you can see the aircraft's actually dropping out of the sky at 100 knots. Yeah, with no flaps, the aircraft is partially stalled and it's not producing enough lift at the wing. And it, it, was, it was descending um, uh, anything below 110, 100, 110 knots, that aircraft wasn't maintaining altitude. So now if we put the speed up a bit, we'll take off again. Uh, we'll spin it around and we'll land with the flaps fully extended in landing mode. Um, I don't have enough room here so I'm going to turn around and do a bit of a... Uh, if you're actually doing this maneuver on a real long stay, you probably pull the wing off and probably make few, uh, people a bit sick. But here we go, we'll go for a quick, a quick, uh, quick turn. The, uh, the gear I'm actually, as soon as you take off it, puts your, your landing gear up, so I've dropped the gear back down again. Yeah, here we go. I don't think Lancaster Pilots have ever done this manoeuvre before. A bit too much wing. A bit of throttle, because obviously I've lost a lot of speed there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And um, we'll just get a line. Plenty of runway. Alright, now if you look at the speed now, I won't increase it. We'll count that as nearly a landing. Um, if you look at the, sp at the speed now, I'm having to increase the throttle a little bit. I've got a throttle on zero, but if you look at the speed I land at, I'm down well below it. I'm down to 87 knots, and the aircraft still maintain altitude with those flaps down at 87 knots. Yeah, and there you go. That touches down at I think that's 70. Yeah, like a 70 knot. 76 knot touchdown so yeah you basically the advantages of having flaps is that you can reduce your landing speed by about 30 knots okay uh, so that is a split flap system